time here on the show and we do have two amazing personalities who played a paramount role, um, role um, through the course of Miss Universe Nigeria 2023. Uh, give it up for the one and only Calvin and Andrea in the studio. Uh, of course, they represented the amazing Shine TV all the way from UK, is it? US, US. rather. US. Thank you Hollywood. so much. US. Hollywood, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you so much. And it's super so exciting here. that you're still around. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank good. you so well, much. It's an honor. Yes, Nigeria is the type of place where when you go, you don't really want to leave to go back anywhere. Really? Right. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm yes. telling you, yes. We feel so at home here. Like, this is our, this is definitely is. our home. We're it coming really wow. So how long are you going to be here? Next one year? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be back. Oh, we'll see, be back for see. that time. We're definitely <laughs> back. December. Let's know that you are really serious. You know, but yes, um, Miss Universe is started and ended yes um shine tv played a major role i mean being uh, one of the major sponsors for the fashion show it was spectacular um by the way thank you for coming on board yes, for that so one much. truly it's truly appreciate it uh but yes uh, miss universe just ended and you happen to be a part of it how was camp i mean in your opinion how was camp and the events in general let's start with you andrea um it was it was truly an honor um, serving as chief judge and coming from the international side, it was truly a blessing for me um, getting to see all the ladies compete. Being a former pageant winner and beauty queen myself, it was just, you know, taking me back. I was like, oh. <laughs> but I mean, the competition was really, really stiff. So the ladies really made our jobs very hard. Oh, wow. And, um, but thankfully, you know, the ladies that were chosen. Um, we got some really good feedback, even from the ladies um, that participated. Um, they were like, you know, you guys did a really great job. And they were happy with, you know, the top five and top three and also the winners. Mm. So yeah, they were really happy. So at least you highlighted your role. You were the chief judge uh, yes. of the competition. Mm -hmm. Calvin, how did you feel about the events mm -hmm. in camp real quick? I think the event was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And in fact, that's some of the reason why we're here, because I think the world needs to see this amazing pageant. Mm. This amazing pageant, it was, first of all, you had a panel full of women, and that spoke to women empowerment. And then the, the contestants were all great. Yeah. You know, they spoke well, they, they, they had fun together, they learned from each other. Sure that. And the world needs to know that. The world needs to know that, and we're here to just amplify that voice. Okay, so Calvin, could you tell us more about, you know, the partnership with Silverbed away from Miss Universe? I feel like there's a stronger partnership that people really need to know about. Yes, yes, yes. So as you know, Shine TV is a network streaming app out of uh, Hollywood, California. And our aim is to expand the reach of, of filmmakers and content creators. Um, and so we partnered with Silverbird who you know has lots of content and all this amazing content and we said well is there if uh, there's any way that we could come aboard and just help give the filmmakers a larger voice and that formed our amazing marriage and I, i'll tell mm -hmm. you it's been a uh, it's going to be a wonderful wonderful ride when i hear filmmakers yes. and i hear hollywood i hear okay people are just going to blow and explore but let's talk about more of the rules that you actually play in hollywood because yes. um, you mentioned filmmakers so yes. i'll start with you andre and then you tell me yourself as well Calvin. Sure. so andre okay well my role is you know um i'm an actress i sing i model as well and you know as you all may know uh hollywood is on strike right now i'm not sure if everyone is on strike at the moment but hollywood is definitely on strike hey. and so uh, which is which brings us back to shine tv um giving uh, creators, filmmakers, a platform to place their movies on. You know, a lot of them have created all these wonderful movies and they're sitting around not making them any money. And so what Shine TV does, it uh, gives them a platform to put their films on to make uh, an income and also reach and give them a farther reach, reach globally, yeah, globally. You know, so Impressive. it's just yeah. truly right. a blessing. So Hollywood is really on strike. Yes. Yeah. It's, yes, yeah, so writers, writers, uh, it started with a writer's strike. That's right, yeah. Um, and that yes. hasn't been off. I know the last time you came, you mentioned that it's still on till now. It, it's on. It's, it's on. It's on. Yes, and um, because they, the streaming rights, all of that, a lot of that was not 
uh, negotiated when a lot of writers were writing projects. Mm. But, but let me just kind of amplify her just a little bit because, uh, you know, she also does health and wellness and oh. she's big into women <laughs> empowerment as well. So I'm very proud to be working beside her. We're the faces of Shine TV. Oh. And so, you know, um, I have to just tell you everywhere I go, I'm like, OK, <laughs> she's, she's actually one. one. Yeah. And so myself, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a Hollywood publicist. Uh, out of Hollywood um, and thankfully we you know I do like the, the red carpets the Oscars and all those different things and thankfully we have like seven Oscars under our belt wow. for best live action short film yes. so um, we do done that acting uh, modeling myself just the whole gamut um, and we're just excited to be in film distribution. We're, we're excited because Shine TV, not only does it just take films and put it on that platform, mm. but we are also the springboard for Netflix, for oh, nice. Amazon Prime Transactional. And there are also a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, of, of streaming apps that Nigeria doesn't have reach to, mm -hmm. but they are paying. So they're, they're allowing, they're taking Nigerian content. So we have Nollywood, we have Nollywood content from filmmakers who don't have access to certain certain Such platforms, sucks, yes. but they're receiving money from it. Yes. Oh. So um, that's and just for example, Tubi TV. Tubi mm -hmm. has like 83 million uh, subscribers. Mm. So from Shine TV, we can place their content on different platforms. And yes, such. Oh, so it's like a medium. It's a medium. <laughs> right. It's a medium. Yes. And that's what we mean by expanding their reach globally. Yes. Globally. Impressive. Definitely. So uh, specifically here in Nigeria, I know you've already highlighted uh, keen into filmmakers who have projects that they haven't mm -hmm. been able to put out there, whether it's a short film or a feature length mm -hmm. or whatever. But is that the only major theme you're here for in Nigeria? No. No, <laughs> because of our backgrounds and because of a lot of things that we are, you know, interested in, um, we are here. So my own personal background, I have a doctoral degree in organizational leadership under education and psychology. So I do a lot of like structuring. So we partner together and, and Andrea, she's sales, 100 percent sales. <laughs> and so we we, you know, um, that, and that's just some of the things. But we've decided to to. Uh, in coming here, we saw a great need, which we're going to talk yes. about in conference. Uh, but we, we we started talking to a lot of people, and we're we're seeing that there is something that needs to happen with women mm -hmm. here in Nigeria yes. and youth, women and youth. youth yeah. uh -huh. We found out a lot of women um, need a stronger platform, a, a stronger voice, or something to just to amplify what who they is, are. Yeah, there are a lot of yes. women bosses here that yes. we need to know about. And, oh, wow. you know, we've actually been blessed to network with some women pastors. I, I met a, a woman chemist who actually works in a lab. I was just oh, really wow. blown away yeah. and really impressed with that. And she uh, works with um, um, dealing with petrol. Oil and gas. Oil, yeah. So yeah, so it's like I feel like there are a lot of um, women entrepreneurs here. To be honest, because um, of the way the economy is, a lot of women are really pushing themselves yes. to thrive, and they are doing great. Yes. By yes. The way. Silently, yes, you know, but they're exactly. doing so well. Yes. So I feel yes. like it's a fantastic platform. I mean, yes. on, if if, if, if it gets to amplify the voices of women, but on if I should play devil's advocate, I also feel like some men are also struggling. You know, there's a lot of burden mm -hmm. on the men, you know, to achieve a lot. Even though sure. everyone is fighting for women, sure. helping to amplify, mm -hmm. and our voices are already mm -hmm. being amplified. Yes. But there are so many men who feel like they need this. Sure. So, yeah. well, Do you sure, think that is so true. However, women are much further behind as far as uh, playing on the on the level of equality, even yeah. in the U.S. Oh, okay. We're, we're, yeah. They're fighting for equal pay. They're fighting to for equal positions. They're fighting to have that CEO spot. So if you put a, a bunch of women in a room and a bunch of men in a room, mm -hmm. um, then and you take a poll, studies show who are more than likely to get the job if they both are qualified. Certain industries, yeah. most industries are male dominated. Oh, yeah. But what women are saying, I can do this just like you or even better. But because a lot of times they are women, they, there are steps that have to be taken or they have to go the long route or some things that's not cool may have to have or, or be approached with. Exactly. So, and, you know, and I'll chime in just yeah. um, even from the Hollywood side, yeah. you know, um, 
there's this thing called a casting couch. I'm sure many people have heard, have heard of it. Mm. And it's, it's a very real thing, yes. you know. And my experience working on film and being an executive producer on film here in Nigeria, it was just so different. Everyone was professional. No one was trying to be fresh or frisky. You know, it was yeah. just a really wonderful, positive working in, working environment. Here in Nigeria? You know? Yes, really. We did a few. You mean the cast of the crew now? We did. Uh, we were both uh, executive producers on the film as well as co-stars in the oh, film. Wow, wow. So, so they're very professional. Uh, very professional. Nollywood <laughs> has grown. <laughs> no, I'm impressed. But, but here's the thing, though. Here's mm -hmm. the thing. A lot of people pulled us to the side and said, I, "I've had women pull me to the side and say, hey, um, this is what I do, but I don't have a voice.' And I had a lot yes. of youth mm -hmm. because they're young." say you know i can do this but um there's a lot of older generation that won't give me the opportunity and i just need a voice i need a voice mm -hmm. and so i think being able to understand the different generations from the generation x generation y generation z what's important to to different generations are different and today if you can tap into pop culture and technology yeah. mm -hmm. if we can get the older generation to understand that then business can boom. Business can boom. Um, boom. Yeah. Yes. And it will help even the women and the men eventually at the end of the day. I sure. think it's just going to spiral Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But this um, Shine TV, is it an app? There is an app. It's an app. It's, it's, it's an a app. free app. How does it's it work? Free How app. do people get on it? Okay, so you can go to the Shine, S-H-I-E-N, TV app from any smartphone or uh, streaming device mm -hmm. and um, not streaming device any smartphone, smartphone or smart phone, device yes. Yes. be it a television be it an iPad or yeah. iPhone or Android and just go to the shine again s-h-i-e-n TV and uh, download the app and it's really simple to uh, register email address your name that's it mm -hmm. and your part. Welcome to the Shine TV world. <laughs> and the reason why that's so important is because when you get on, when you watch movies on Shine TV, not only will you be watching free Nollywood content, but you yeah. can watch free American content. Content. Well. Oh wow! So it's Absolutely. like a, a, you know, it kind of reminds you of a Netflix or or some sort of uh, those streaming platforms that you can watch abroad. Mm -hmm. so, Impressive. And it's free. So, so if a, so if a filmmaker wants to submit their yes. content now, how do they really quick? How do they go about it? Yes. So there are a few different ways that you can go about it. So number one, um, um, and I'm sure they're going to list our our Instagram handles, our Instagram mm -hmm. account. Sure. Um, so that's that's a way contact us and let mm -hmm. us know. Uh, we have a Shine TV community. It's Shine TV community on Facebook. Shine TV. Uh, on Instagram, we partnered with Silverbird. So now, mm -hmm. uh, Silverbird is one of our partners where we the, a lot of content. So they can come them. through us they now and go then, through yes. Silverbird, and Silverbird has an easy access, straight access with us. And so, and again, we're trying to break the barriers of how do you get to Netflix, how do right. you get to Amazon Prime transaction, mm -hmm. and how do you get to streaming apps that you may not necessarily have access hey, to Nigeria. here, but you can collect money from. Mm. Yeah. So that's the that's the whole thing about globalization. But do I have to be a filmmaker to harness this? I mean, can't I just be a content creator? Yeah. So here's the thing. We so Shine TV does a lot of films. But they're also doing we do it into television shows of yeah. some mm -hmm. sorts, which we'll be we'll be doing more of that. But mainly it's films. But we are definitely taking other parts. Uh, I feel content. like we need we need a lot of time to really talk about this so that people get uh, a whole lot of information on how they can fully you know um, benefit from all that Shine has to offer. Yes. Uh, that would lead me to the conference you highlighted sure. that you're having. Are we going to be having more of that at the conference and what's the conference about and when is it? Yes. Okay well the conference is actually to um, it's a women and youth empowerment conference. Mm. However you know we will be taking questions um, and, and helping people um, to get involved with Shine TV and again, expand their reach. Um, they can also reach Dr. Calvin on his Instagram handle as well as myself on my Instagram a handle. I'm sure you guys are going to put it up, right? Yes, I and think they'll put that up. Uh, waste time telling them what that is. <laughs> <laughs> but um, um, but yes, I mean we're we're really excited. It's it's um, we're definitely we see a need here and we want to help. And just want to give a shout out to our founder. 
the beautiful Mrs. Tyler Maddox. Yes. Uh, she made us the faces of Shine TV. You know, just because she's kind of shy and, you oh, know, she likes being behind nice the scenes, but she is absolutely beautiful inside and out. And we love you, Tyler. We miss you. We can't wait to see you. Oh, they're not yeah. coming back to next year. They said they like yeah. Nigeria. <laughs> they know they go <laughs> well, we, 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 we kept <laughs> them here. <laughs> But I also want to say you can too, keep us. I'm keepable now. Y'all yes. can keep us here. <laughs> the, the inspiration, as we were saying uh, earlier from the conference, stemmed from talking to women mm -hmm. who wanted a louder voice and also wanted resources, yeah. technology, and and uh, just and also uh, I will also say this. Unfortunately, I've spoken with a lot of women who um, have gone through marriages of abuse and mm -hmm. they're trauma survivors. Mm. And so they need a platform where they can receive resources. One of the things that mm. needs to be really amplified here is mental health. Yeah, and how do you, yeah, and, uh, and have it, creating a, a conference where they can come and they can talk, they can receive resources, um, and then those who survived it, how did you get through it? Yeah. How did you get through your yeah. stories? And then there's the youth as well. There's a lot of youth that are looking, at, you know, and talking to so many people. The number one request I get is, I need money, I need mm. a job, I need mm. money. Well, how do you make money outside of Nigeria, being here in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. There are so many so resources. Many I, there are yes. so many ways to do that online. Yes. There are a lot of millionaires, ch young millionaires, who make money from their bedrooms just by shooting a video or doing mm -hmm. a review or do, and, yeah. and they're just putting out this content. So having a platform where people can learn to say, okay, how do I expand my reach? I know I'm here in Nigeria, mm -hmm. but even beyond Nigeria, how because global dollars are more than just local dollars. Yes, yes, I think that's really and so important. That's, and so we're looking to do a conference next year uh, during the time of the pageant, actually, because the pageant is all about women, women. empowerment. So it's so best we, to push it with It's the best pageant. to push it with them um, to say, hey, we're here. Fingers crossed, though. We're waiting for that. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, definitely. Thank you so much for coming through. You're Thank welcome. You. Uh, really goodness. appreciate this time. I wish you had more time, probably shed more light on um, everything that we've been talking about so far, women empowerment and also the youths and yes. just, you know, finding other ways of making making income, passive income, you might want to call it that. For some people, it might be their active income. Yeah, depends on right. you. And that's yes. Calvin, Dr. Calvin yes. and Andrea. Thank you so much. Uh, you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to short break. Next time we come back, we have an amazing guest coming through to shed more light on his work of art as well. We'll be right back. <laughs>